Hi, we're here with Mike Deniger, Senior Director of Development Engineering, Rides and Entertainment for SeaWorld Parks. Not even close? That's close enough. All right, great. We'll fix that in editing. <laughs> and we're here to talk about the upcoming Cobra's Curse roller coaster opening here in the Egypt section of the park in 2016. Um, so obviously, Busch Gardens already has a really great lineup of coasters. Tell us how this particular model fits in <laughs> to the range that you currently have. We do have an excellent collection here at Bush Gardens, and this coaster fits perfectly into that. It's a perfect complement to what we have, because what it delivers is a 42-inch rider height, so a family, a true family, very broad-based family thrill experience. Mm. And so, much like we have coasters out here that have 54-inch rider height requirements that, you know, really put us on the map when it comes to coasters, and then we put in rides recently, like uh, Cheetah Hunt with a 48-inch rider ride. So this mm -hmm. one, we dipped on even more. We grabbed that younger family member into this family experience. That, and But we will hold on to the oldest of riders mm -hmm. also because this ride is dynamic. And it, 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 it depends how much you put into it. So it's going to turn it's gonna turn heads, you know, not, not uh -huh. just your own heads, but the, the riders that are, the non-riders that are watching your ride vehicle go around. So with this moderate height requirement, can you tell me some of the elements? Um, are we going to see any inversions in this? Uh, wh what's the top speed that we're looking at? Okay, so the, the ride experience is over three and a half minutes long. Okay. And that's over a course that's more than 2,100 feet of track. 2,100 feet of track, there, that's there, a long track. There, there's, there's two lifts in the ride, so that our, our duration on this ride experience is more than three and a half minutes long. Okay. So, uh, and you reach a top speed that's more than 40 miles an hour. So okay. it's, it's very complimentary to the thrill that we are trying to provide mm -hmm. for these riders that are 42 inches an hour. Um, and, but, but no un inversions, no going upside down? There's, none, there's no inversions on okay. this ride. And what's the restraint system going to be like? The restraint is a lap bar restraint. Okay. And um, are, are there any dark ride elements to this? Is this purely outdoors? Are we going to see any any special effects or screens on well, the indoor portions? There's a lot of exciting things that we will announce a okay. little bit more detail on with this attraction soon. Okay. Over the next several months as we progress with our with our project here behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll, we'll talk about more of those details later on. Okay. And is there a target date other than sometime in 2016? Sometime in 2016. 2016. All right. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.